Hi, and welcome to my project on narrative research design. This is for research education class 803. My name is Sandra K. Crawford. It is important to remember that everyone has a story to tell about their unique experiences. Narrative research design provides this opportunity. Through the use of narrative research design, stories are able to be told that can enrich the lives of the participants, the researcher, and those who read it. But what exactly is narrative research design? It is a qualitative research design in which researchers describe the lives of individuals by collecting and telling stories about people's lives and then writing narratives of individual experiences. When was it developed? It was developed when two educators, D. Jean Clanadine and Michael Connolly, wrote an article about narrative research in the field of education. And the next question is, when is it used? Narrative research should be used when a researcher has individuals willing to share their stories. The key characteristics of narrative design involve individual experiences such as social and personal interactions. The second characteristic is a chronology of past, present, and future experiences. The life stories or individual stories should be first person oral accounts that are obtained through data. Another characteristic is retelling the story based on the data. The next key characteristic is coding for themes. This allows a researcher to add depth and understanding of the participants' experiences. The context or setting is the next key characteristic. This can involve the context, environment, conditions, place, time, locale, year, and error. The final key characteristic is collaborating with participants. Collaboration means that the researcher actively involves the participants in all the steps of the research process. Our next slide involves the types of narrative design. The types of narrative design cover a wide area of narrative studies. The narrative study depends on several different factors, such as who is writing or recording the story, or how much of the story is recorded and presented. This can include autobiographies, personal accounts, personal narratives, and even memoirs. As with any research, there are always some potential ethical issues. Some issues are authenticity of the story, distortion of facts, fear of reprisal, or even fear of telling the real story. It is important to remember these potential ethical issues and to shield the individual as much as possible. There are seven steps involved in conducting research. The first is to identify a phenomenon to address an educational problem. The next step is, with purpose, select an individual who can provide an understanding of the, phenom the phenomenon. Step three is to collect stories from the individual through personal conversations. Step four, review the data of the story and retell it, making sure to sequence and organize the story. Step five is to collaborate with the storyteller in all steps of the process. Step six is to write and present the story of the individual's experiences. And step seven, determine the accuracy and credibility of the narrative account. So how is narrative research evaluated? A high quality narrative study should include keeping the focus on a single individual or two. This study should report the life experiences of individuals in a chronological order. The context of the story is given in detail, and there are at least five to seven themes in the story. And there also has to be collaboration between the participant and the researcher through all processes of the research design. I hope you enjoyed my project.